with another video for you guys and today today we have a video that seems crazy that has a crazy title and today it is 10 most dangerous kids in the world so come across these kids make sure you guys be careful because supposedly according to this video they are dangerous i'm not sure which type of kids they're going to show or who they're going to show i don't know the names i have no idea so let's just go ahead and get right into it Siblings knows that sibling rivalry is a very real thing. Yeah. It can lead to a few scrapes. What is that? It really oh. Escalades beyond it's a knee. That. I don't know what that was. There are the incredibly rare exceptions to every. Is that a knife? Even rarer are the children that kill other children. Whoa. There are ten evil children who took it too far. Took it too far. Christian Fernandez. In March 2011, 12 year old Christian Fernandez was left alone with his two year old half brother in their Florida home while his mother ran an errand. While she uh -huh. was away, Christian brutally beat his baby brother to death. He was charged with first degree. Really? But in For what? It was reduced to manslaughter when prosecutors learned of his troubling past. Ten years earlier, he and his then 14 year old mother were found wandering the streets naked and alone. They were both placed into foster care as his drug addicted grandmother was unable to take care of them. He had also suffered sexual abuse from a cousin and was beaten by his stepfather. Whoa. A man committed suicide. Jordan Brown. Jordan Brown. 11 year old. Okay, that's scary. I don't know what that was, but that's kind of scary. Kenzie Marie Hope and her two daughters. Hope was eight and a half months pregnant with Brown's child on February 20th, 2000. I just missed half of the story already. Back of the head with a 20 gauge youth model shotgun while lying in bed. Hope and her unborn infant son died as a result. Of Whoa, I'm lost. Wow. What happened? Dang. Because he felt jealous of being replaced by a new baby. Thompson what? So he shot somebody because he was jealous or something? Thompson's what? Boyfriend decided they would get a takeaway pizza in November 2015, but decided to leave Thompson's three young children at home. While they were away, the three-year-old twins put their 19-month-old sister in the oven. By the time the mother returned, the baby Okay, this is getting crazier and crazier as far as we progress through this video. That one child had put their sister in the oven, and the other had turned it on and made it hot. Put a baby in the oven? Filed against the children. But Thompson and her boyfriend faced charges child endangerment. The twins wow. and the five-year-old sibling that had been asleep at the time were placed in foster care. Erica DiNardo. The DiNardo family lived in a good neighborhood in Novi Ligure, Italy, and seemed to the world... Oh, Italy. Italy! Their two children, 11-year-old Gianna Lucia and 16-year-old Erica, got along well, or so they thought. Unbeknownst to her family, Erica had developed a drug problem and a strong hatred for her family, which she wrote about in her journal. On the night of February 21st, 2001, Erica and her boyfriend hatched a terrible plot. While her father was at a soccer game, they murdered her mother and younger brother, stabbing them over a hundred wow. times. Wow, over a hundred times? The murder was the result of a botched robbery, but later recorded Erica and her boyfriend talking about their crime. They were arrested, Erica served 16 years in prison, and her boyfriend served 14 years. Girl wow. A. Girl A? Girl A? What? 2004, an 11-year-old Japanese schoolgirl known only as girl A due to her age, murdered her classmate. Satomi Mitarai, a 12-year-old girl, was lured into an empty classroom no. during lunch by girl A at their elementary school in Sasebo, Japan, before she was killed. Girl A returned to class following the event with her clothes covered in blood. Her teacher found Mitarai girl with scratches on her arms and her throat that had been slit with a utility knife. Girl A claimed she'd killed Mitarai because she commented on her weight. She was institutionalized in September wow. of that year. Bever Brothers. In July 2015, Oklahoma brothers, 18-year-old Robert and 16-year-old Michael Bever, not only killed Bever their brothers? parents, but they were also plotting a mass killing spree in order to gain fame as serial killers. Wow. Parents David and April Bever were stabbed to death along with 12-year-old Daniel, 7-year-old Christopher, and 5-year-old Victoria. They nearly killed their 13-year-old sister, but failed. She later told police that her brother wow. threatened to behead their 2-year-old sister as well, but she was left unharmed and went into foster care. The brother Others were charged with five counts of first degree murder and one count of assault and battery with intent to kill. Jasmine wow. Richards. In Medicine Night, Alberta, a 12 year old girl lived with her parents and eight year old brother. Jasmine Richards had apparently discussed killing her family with her 23 year old boyfriend, Jeremy. Was that her on the left picture? Times, but she claimed it was always in jest. On April 22nd, 2006, Steinka entered the family's home and killed her mother and father. Richards told the jury that she was in a zombie state at the time of the killings. The zombie state? She didn't know it's... 
Yeah, guys, we're gonna stop it right there. So that is 10 most dangerous kids in the world. Um, just as I expected, it was gonna be kind of crazy. Let me know what you guys think of that video down below. Let me know if you guys know if any more dangerous kids stories down below as well. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Yeah!